Hello and welcome to COVID-19 News Bulletin brought to you by Qatar Media Corporation. The Ministry of Public Health announced 1,526 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours and 179 recoveries bringing the total number of recoveries in the country to 3,019. All new cases have been quarantined and are receiving the necessary medical care. The Ministry of Public Health today opened the field hospital in the industrial area, which will be dedicated to receiving all patients through the emergency department, outpatients clinics and short stay with a section allocated to receiving the coronavirus suspected cases. The Mental Health Service of Hamad Medical Corporation has launched a set of new services on the 16000 Unified Helpline to assist people in accessing specialized psychological support services during the coronavirus pandemic. Equipment designed to protect healthcare workers against COVID-19 is being developed in the laboratories of Virginia Commonwealth University School of the Arts. A team at the university in Qatar has been working with a group of fabricators and universities in the US for the past two months to produce protective face shields, supporting efforts to keep those in the front line of the ongoing global pandemic safe. The Ministry of Public Health has closed down a private medical center and a private specialized clinic and referred them to the health prosecution for violating the decision to suspend some non-emergency health services in private health facilities. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has decided to reopen money exchange offices with the compulsory application of COVID-19 precautionary measures. Working hours are limited to six hours a day with the provision of paid overtime of two hours. The Ministry of Education and Higher Education announced that, in cooperation with Qatar Media Corporation, video lessons will be rebroadcasting through Qatar TV's Educational 1 and Education 2 channel for 12th grade and adult education students. An official source at Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the State of Qatar has commended Qatar Airways' initiative to offer doctors and medical workers around the globe 100,000 return tickets. The source said that Qatar Airways initiative comes as a token of appreciation for their applaudable work. That's all we have for today. For more updates, you can follow us on our social media platforms at COVID-19 Qatar. And detailed news can be found on our website covid19qatar.info. Goodbye for now and stay safe.